I'm going to tell you about some digital signage software that will make your life a little bit easier within your business. What we're going to do in today's video is have a look at how this works and how we can get things working on an Android TV box. Now behind me you can see the website for Liquid Live and you can see that it's required on an Android TV. Now if you have one, great, you can go ahead to the Play Store and download the application that you need and if you don't, you can actually use an Android box and plug it into the HDMI monitor. So you don't need to use USB sticks anymore. One of the days where you need to go and plug that in and then take it back, change it, update it, you can do it all straight from your PC. As I just mentioned, you can upload media from your phone or your laptop, you can edit promotions, and also you can stream YouTube as well and show TV channels. So there are a few different subscription plans that allow you to do different things. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. So just go up to the top and there's two different things you can choose. There's a software subscription, which will open in a new tab. And there is also a TV subscription as well, which will also open in the new tab. So having a quick look at the TV subscription, you can select I'm based in the UK and you can actually go ahead and lease out a screen. And what that looks like is they give you a screen that you can go ahead and plug in either 32 inch, 42 inch, 50, 55 inch. So if you're wanting to rent this out, now the subscription plan. So just like you have the option to rent the TVs, you have the option to do a monthly or a yearly plan for this. Now they do have a free option, which is just down here. You can see it's free forever. There's no cost to it. Obviously, if you buy the yearly plan, it is a little bit more financially beneficial to you, but we'll leave that choice up to you. Just a side note is it does work with an Amazon Fire Stick and Roku and Chromecast are coming in the future. So it will also work with those as well. So not necessarily needing to get yourself an Android TV box. If we have a quick look down here and compare some of the plans, I'm not going to go through all of this, but the main thing is with the free version, you can connect up to as many screens as you want. You ha do have a limit in terms of your media and upload, so you can see that there's a 10 meg limit, and then that goes up to unlimited once you go to the paid version. And with the paid version, you have the option to have huge one gig media, si media file sizes, and also you can remove the ads and badge, which are there as well. Also with the subscription plans is you do have the option, you can contact them and they will actually send you out an Android TV box as well. So within the subscription plans, I'm sure with a slight additional fee, they will actually send you an Android TV box. So you don't need to purchase one of those as well. So let's go ahead and sign in and take a look at how this works. So this is me signed in. I'm literally just gone straight to the main screen and this is what you come up with straight away. So just looking at the top, you have screens, media, playlists and TV, but we'll go through each of those shortly. So first I'm gonna actually add a screen. So I have an Android TV box next to me. So I've just plugged my Android box into the recording software so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And you just go to the Google Play Store and ask you to sign in. So let's quickly go ahead and sign in. So in the Play Store, you just search for Liquid and you can see it's the first digital signage player. So we just click on that and we just want to go ahead and click install. So we'll wait for that to download and install and then we will open it up. Here you can see we've gone ahead and installed it on the Android box. So we have the liquid just here and you can see there's some templates that you can use depending on what kind of area you're going to be using this in. So there's church, bars, shops, universities, Medicare, hotels. There's so many other options, there's others as well. So let's go ahead behind and let's see if we can get this set up. So just behind here, we're going to go ahead and click add a screen. It's going to tell you to go to it, find the app, install it. And then you can't see it just there, but underneath behind that, there's actually a next button. So we're going to go ahead and click next. And then it's going to ask you to type in your code. So for this, I'm actually going to move this out of the way, make it a bit smaller for you. Um, you can see we can type in the code just here, which is 7434. We'll click next. Then we go ahead and give the screen a name. So we're going to call this demo screen. And the location, it's asking for a location. We'll just leave that as it is for now. We're not gonna change that. And the good thing down here is you have the option for horizontal or vertical. I don't know if you can actually see in the bottom, this is slightly changed a little bit just here. So let me just make that a bit bigger again. Here it goes, so you can see it's changed slightly. So it's definitely a horizontal screen that we had. And in the bottom right hand corner, there is a confirm button. So we go ahead and press confirm. And just like that, you can see the demo screen is now updated and you can see it in the bottom corner. So let's see what we can do with the demo screen. So we can go ahead and add media. If I wanna upload from my device, for example, it's gonna say, choose your file. So there we go, I'm just uploading the intro to my video. So I'm just uploading that now and you can see that's happening just in the background. I've just re-uploaded this file. It's a seven second duration video. It shows it's not on air, but if we go back to screens now, and if I go to add media, I can add media to this channel. 
Uh, we can add it from the library and it's the one that I just picked, so we click that. And then in the bottom right hand corner I can click add media. Just going to move that to the middle so you can see. And then all I need to do is click confirm and publish. So as soon as I did that, you can see the media contents being sent. The media is updating and there you go, it's now playing in the background. So that's one thing that's just continuously being played right there. And it will just keep looping and looping and looping. So there you go, it shows it's already sent to it. So really, it's that simple and easy. And when it comes to the media as well, I'm going to just go back to this just to show you. If we go to add more media, you can see it's linked to a couple of other things. So we've got create with Canva, you've got Vista create, you can add a YouTube video or add an external URL. So whatever you want to do, I know I've got YouTube videos that I could probably publish on here. So let's go ahead and give that a go. Media, add YouTube video, paste. And then we click add video. You can see that video is right there. So we can literally confirm and publish that again in the bottom right hand corner. And it's going to give that a second and we'll see that come live in just a second. So it is sending it, so just it's just uploading, so just give it a minute. So there we go, you can see that YouTube video playing right there and that's just playing straight from the web. Now you don't need to worry too much about what sort of content you're going to be playing on here because there are some pre-built ones, so I'm just going to move myself out of the way. You can see they have some for cafes, gyms, restaurants, so if I quickly go to restaurants for a second and we look at meal of the day, we can click on this, uh, we can add it to the library straight away so we don't need to worry about it. And you can see it's now connecting and you can watch it on here as well. So if I click watch it, you can see exactly what's coming up. Now just to show you some of the other areas, you can actually create a playlist. So you can go on here and create your first playlist. You can add the media you require. So let's just quickly add from library. Let's just add the three files we created. In the bottom right hand corner you have add media, so we add that. So you can go ahead and pre-select what you want to choose. So if you have different things that you want to show at different times of the day, so for example you want videos in the morning and then you want pictures in the afternoon or pictures in the afternoon or and videos in the morning or if you want that completely different and mix and match, you can set that up in your playlists here. And it's just a case of simply sending it to the screen and it's as simple as that. And just to show you in the bottom right hand corner it just says select screens show what you want to send it to and away you go. So it's really easy and simple to change these playlists. Once you've created your playlist, uh, you can go ahead and create a content plan. So this is where I mentioned to you about possibly using different things at different times of the day. So you could have a schedule Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday, whichever way you want to do. You can set certain playlists accordingly to what you want to do. So in the morning, if you are, say for example, hotel breakfast, you can go ahead and put your breakfast menu and then in the afternoon and evening you can do the lunch and dinner menu and it is literally just a case of plus, plus, plus to set your schedule. So I could quite easily do 8 till 10, Monday to Sunday, just like that and there we go, we've got a playlist added there that we need to play on certain TVs and you just select the screens that you want to enable this on. Now I only have one screen so unfortunately I can only give you my demo screen but you get the idea. If you had multiple screens, it's quite easy and simple to use. Last thing I want to show you is just TV channels. So these are ones that already exist on here. So for example, probably not ideal for most workplaces, but if you want fails, you can go to just publish it to the screen, um, select your screen, and I want it to go to the live demo one. And in the bottom right hand corner, we just click publish. And we just see that it's going off in the background now and republishing it. And I just quickly deleted what was playing on the screens at the moment, otherwise they would have come up first. But you can see the AFV just shows certain fails, I guess. So there are quite a few on here. Now, the last and final thing I do want to show you, I know I said that previously, but if you go down to the bottom just here, you can see I need more channels. And what this allows you to do is submit requests through to uh, Liquid Live to say, this is the channel name I want a TV for and this is the language I need it in. And they'll go off and have a look to see if it's feasible for the business. Now I hope you found this video useful. It is really easy and simple to use and their free package is amazing. Go ahead and check it out. If you do want the paid subscription, it's about $100 a year and it gives you all the additional features that you might need. Really easy and simple to set up and you can even control it by your mobile phone as well. So it's really easy to update as and when you need to. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.